So in last week's video, I talked about the five dysfunctions of a CEO. And number five that I talked about were making their difficult but important people choices. So let me share a stat with you. So 45% of CEOs and C-speak executives do not consider their top team to be high performing. Yet 93% of C-suite executives believe their personal contributions have a positive impact. What does that say? That says to me that there are lots of people who are not great in senior leadership teams in large organizations who are sitting on the C-suite. Now, as a CEO, instinctively, you probably know who these people are. They're not the people who are three out of 10 who are just not great at what they do. They're easy to know what to do with those kinds of people. They're not the people who are 10 out of 10s. They're not your all-star performance. They're in that messy middle part. And what you've got to do is, as a CEO is to know how to deal with people like this. The first and most important thing to do is to identify you have people who are a seven out of 10, right? You know that, who are they, right? Do you believe that they can be a 10 out of 10, right? That's the second thing. Is it possible for them to be improved enough to be an exceptional player on that team? If your answer is no to that, then you need to do something about it and you need to act decisively. So the big dysfunction I talked about last week was this was not being decisive in terms of human decisions in the C-suite. You can let people like that stick around for a long time because they're not awful. There's no reason to fire them. They're just not exceptional. They may have a way of talking about great things and alluding to the fact that they're doing great work and the reality is they're not. You need to cut through that and know exactly what you need to do. And that may mean moving them on. And the way to do that is to do that as fast as possible, okay? It's the adage in business, hire slowly, fire quickly. The reality is if you're inheriting a C-suite or inheriting a board of directors, you know who the average players are. You need to act decisively to move those people on and get the right replacement into that job. Sometimes it can be better to have somebody acting up while you remove that person and, and while you're hiring somebody else, but acting decisively is what you need to do in these situations rather than letting that linger especially if you've just taken over as a first-time CEO. You've only got a finite amount of time when you're able to do that before the board start asking difficult questions. And the same is true in terms of managing your board as well. Right? You and your chairperson will know who the seven out of tens are. You need to act decisively to deal with that situation and move those people on. If you don't, you're not, your organisation is not going to get better and you'll be spending a lot of your time personally trying to paper over the cracks that this person's created or coaching them forward or doing a lot of their work for them or other people are taking on a lot of their, you know, in essence of what they're doing or simply their division isn't performing and that's not great for you and that's not great for the business. You need to make an act decisively. If after this video you want to talk about this a little bit more, maybe you've got some seven out of tens in your organisations, drop me a line. I'd love to hear your experiences of this and maybe we can come up with an action plan to help you in this particular situation. So thank you for your time and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye now.